So this week we did a Facebook Live and I talked about how it is not only common, but it's essential that we outgrow aspects of our lives and that this is a natural process. And I talked about my daughter, Athena, who's got this lovey and it's a blanket about this big and it has a pink satin edge to it. And the inside of it was this like kind of gauzy material. And she's had this for so many years that the inside is gone. So it's, it's just a big pink piece of satin and she holds on to it. She puts it around her neck and she, for her, it's fine. And for me, it's fine. It's adorable. But she's carrying around this shell of a blanket. So someone would say, what is that? They say, that's my lovey. It's like, it's not your lovey. It's a, it's a piece of pink cloth, you know. But for her, it represents her lovey. But I just thought about, in a cute way, how ridiculous that looks. This kid carrying around this shred of, of pink satin. And, but how do we do that in our own lives? How do you carry around things that are just, if you could actually see them for what they are, they are just shells of what they used to be. Or they were shells of what you hoped they would be. And maybe at one point it suited you, but then you grew and you were either afraid to let go or not willing to let go or just not even aware. It is natural to outgrow things. And you see this with kids, they outgrow their shoes. Imagine making your kids stuff their foot into a shoe that's too small. They do that in China with the little girls and we think it's barbaric to keep their feet small, keep them from growing, that seems insane. Well, my question for you to think about this weekend is, how are you doing that to yourself in your own life? What area of your life are you making yourself squish into a box or a concept or a relationship or a belief that no longer serves you? And what kind of pain is that causing? What kind of distress is that causing? And how is that preventing you from living the life that you're really meant to live? So just something to think about. And all of this is just information. It's never an indictment. There's never any blame attached to it. It's just information to help us make conscious decisions and choices that are in alignment with the greatest, highest good for ourselves and everyone else around us. Have a good weekend.